Hey everybody, this is our next Brachypelma species. This is Brachypelma alba pelosum, also called the Honduran curly hair. I've seen it called the Costa Rican brown or the woolly tarantula. Uh, hailing from Costa Rica and uh, was identified in, by Valerio in 1980. Uh, this is a brilliant uh, tarantula um, for a beginner particularly. It was uh, the very first one that I chose. You can see, uh, backing up there, you can see just how fuzzy uh, uh, this specimen is. We've named this one Bedhead because that's what my hair looks like in the morning. Looks like he lost a fight with a hair dryer. And you can see two of his little eyes and his eye clusters uh, shining at us there. He really loves this hide. This hide actually started over on this side of the enclosure about here, and he painstakingly moved it all the way to where you see it now and where you see all of this soil packed down and here on the side, the soil there. He did all that and webbed it down. So I guess that's where, where he wanted it. And you'll notice that I use he and she intermittently with spiders is because this one I'm still not 100% on. I really believe we have a female here. Uh, recent molt, that's what's left of the molting mat, and a uh, water dish, a little tiny bit of moisture. Uh, we, with the others, will spray the plants and let the water droplets come down. And I've actually seen this tarantula at this size, which is uh, right at about four inches, actually uh, come up the top of the hide here and actually drink water droplets off of the plant. So we, we just continue to do that because they enjoy it so much. So here is bedhead, Brachypelma. Albopelosum. And if you're looking for a pet that's going to, pet spider that's going to last a long time, a female uh, can live up to 15 years, which I think is magic, and that's just an estimate. It's certainly not the oldest, it's not the youngest, it's just an average. So you can see those little eyes looking at you right there in the center of the, where it's refocusing. So anywho, bedhead says goodbye, and we'll be back with another specimen in just a moment.